over uh, 250 million liters of water. Travel through that globe out every minute. So twice, it's twice the volume of Niagara Falls. Wow. So you saw that vast, muddy Fraser River down on the coast now. You can imagine all that water trying to get through this globe out here. So a lot of it was natural rock formation that made the gap narrow, but when the uh, Canadian National Railway, which is the railway on the opposite side of the tracks, which is on the opposite side of the tracks here, uh, was blasting through here to build their railway. The cause look at the, the fall, so a lot of the look at the funicular going up. Even narrow. You can see the tram heading up top, so that's a gondola that takes uh, tourists that come down to Hell's Gate and you catch it. The Trans Canada Highway is way up at the top there where they're going. There's one just leaving, coming down okay, as well. It's a nice yeah. photo opportunity yeah. with both of them coming down. This is that's called down. Hell's Gate. So that takes the tourists down to the little uh, tourist and cafe down below, and I'll, I'll tell you a little bit more about that in just a minute. So. Part of the problem with this gap narrowing and then the rock fall that happened was it made it nearly impossible for the salmon to spawn up the river. So the America, Americans and Canadians got together and the Fisheries Commission came up with an idea to build what they called salmon ladders to help the salmon spawn up the river. So on your right hand side, just down below there, you can see it looks almost like a little cement tower. And then you see the, the cement slabs along the right hand side there but then it's got the little grate along the top of it those are salmon ladders so there's actual the salmon will actually enter small tunnels inside the under the river there and they'll follow it up that right hand side and there's a tunnel that goes underneath crosses the river and there's more salmon ladders on the left hand side so all the salmon will travel their way into those salmon ladders to spawn up the river so it works so well they built a couple and it worked so well that they added uh, four more so there's six there now to help the salmon spawn up the river See the little, see the walkway bridge there that the tourists are out on? There's a little white sign just below the walkway bridge. It's got a black line on it. That is the highest river level ever reached. So you can imagine. And it used to be a, like a pedestrian wood bridge that was originally there. And uh, when it, the river level was that high, the bridge was no longer, as you can imagine. So this is where the gondola starts, way up top on the right-hand side there. Okay, see, see the gondola, gondola entering up. Yeah. And it's the only gondola where you actually start from the top and come down. Most gondolas yeah. obviously you start at the bottom of them and go up and then come back down. It's the only one in the world that starts up and it takes you down. Up. Down below us here is uh, there's a little restaurant and a souvenir shop and they have a couple of displays <laughs> of the, uh, the salmon spawning roots um, as well as a little display about the Chinese immigrant workers that helped build the railway. Great little display there. So it's a beautiful place to come and, and uh, experience Hell's Gate and you don't really appreciate the flow and the volume of water until you're outstanding on that walkway bridge and feeling it, the wind and the pressure from it.